Welcome to the Success Sensei Podcast for anyone interested in success, happiness, and balance. We'll teach you how to be a black belt at life. And now, your host, former professional fighter, multiple world champion, entrepreneur, and investor, Robert Devan. Bowing in. This is Roundhouse Rob, the success sensei, helping you to win at life one kick and punch at a time. And this is the Friday Blitz. The success sensei, Friday Blitz coming at ya. Episode 72. Do you focus on scarcity or abundance? Well, which one do you focus on more? It's really in your mind. I don't know the answer to the question on your behalf. But you know, you obviously know which one I'm going to say that you're supposed to focus on. And it is the abundance and not the scarcity. But do you actually? It's what it's grand saying these things. It's grand using all these words. But what do you actually focus on? Are you more of a negative person? Are you more of a positive person? Are you in between? Are you a positive person who has bouts of negativity? Negative person with bouts of positivity? Where do you lie? Only you will actually know. But you do have control over it. And you can somewhat manage it. So this week I already did the podcast on stop lashing out in anger. And if you're someone that focuses on angry, being angry and anger and negative emotions more so than happiness, then what do you think you're going to draw more to your life? So I'm not talking about some hippie-ish philosophy of being happy, you know, 100% all the time and, you know, the law of attraction and, and focusing and wishing things into your life. If you can do that, that's absolutely super. But I'm talking about a more realistic, a more balanced approach of literally just being more positive than you are negative, focusing more on abundance than you do on scarcity. Now, it is hard to do because all the news, all media, bad news sells, whether it's you know on your phone, through your apps and your media on your phone and the news on your phone that you're listening to. Um, or that you're watching or that you're reading or obviously television which is a media that people aren't really using that much nowadays but there's so much negativity out there it it is like you know that's what we're focusing on 24 hours a day or whenever we're, we come across media which is which is all the time and it's it's impossible to decide between what's real and what isn't real so in your mind is that making you one way or the other is that making you concentrate more on the scarcity or more on the abundance and who can you relate to what what peer group what's your peer group is it the people that are suffering from um a scarcity mindset or is it the people that are are have an abundance mindset or is it in between or is it a little bit as i said i'm absolutely all for being a realist but at the same time if it's a 50 50 um hedging your bet you, you may as well plan for the worst, but hope for the best and have a positive mindset. Also, when you're going around dealing people in your everyday life and you're going around through different situations um, and different people and different events, if you have a slightly more negative mindset, what do you think you're going to see and what perceive and take in more? It's obviously the negative side because that's what you're looking out for more. If you're more concentrating on a little bit more of the positive side, you're gonna have more positive experiences. People will absolutely sense it off you fairly fast, probably from handshake, probably from your initial appearance, probably from the look on your face, probably from the first way you introduce yourself or you say your name or the first sentence or the first way you enter into a conversation. They will absolutely know if you're more of a negative person or a positive person. Now, guess which one they are going to want to talk to. Guess which version of you? Obviously, the person who's a little bit more of the abundance mindset as opposed to the scarcity mindset. Yeah, we can all say things are shocking. It's a weird economic time right now. Brexit, Brexit, Brexit. No one knows what's going to happen. You know, it's a terrible world we live in. There's a lot of atrocities. And we can go on and on and on about all these things. And I can't say that you'd be wrong, but it just means that all your focus is on things that are very, very negative. It doesn't have to be. There's a lot of abundance out there that's not getting airtime. There's a lot of positive stories. There's a lot of, of things in your life currently right now, despite where no matter where you're at or if you're frustrated or not, there's a lot of things that you could be grateful for. And um, so concentrate on the positive. Absolutely don't bury your head in the sand and not deal with the negative, but have more of an abundance mindset than a scarcity mindset. Now I know that the book, The Secret, was very, very popular with a lot of people. 
And that's a little bit too far now for me. It's a bit too far gone that I, you can go to bed and imagine that you're going to wake up tomorrow and have millions and suddenly you'll check your bank account and millions will be there or somehow manifest these things that strongly and that easily into your life. I don't think it works like that. I think it's more of a long-term thing. If it works like that for you, let me know. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to be wrong because if I'm wrong, I will absolutely start imagining tonight that there's millions going to arrive in my bank account tomorrow and hopefully it will be there. So just let me know. But I think it's more of a longer thing. It's more, it's kind of like, how do you gain weight? Well, it's basically you make bad decisions on every, every meal that you have over a long period of time or the majority of meals over a long period of time. How do you, how do you lose weight and get fitter? Well, basically you make better choices more consistently, more often over a long period of time. How do you get better at martial arts and cake? kickboxing um taekwondo karate fighting any any skill it doesn't have to be martial art, martial arts related how do you put your 10,000 hours in that takes quite a long time to do 10,000 hours so in other words you do things consistently over a long period of time so if you're if you're more a little bit more scarcity mindset a little bit more negative mindset and you can slightly move things even just one percent a week better in in the positive direction in the more of an abundance mindset I mean, 1% a week, in 100 weeks, you're 100%. So I'm saying a long period of time. It's it's all the decisions and it's all the, all the, the frame of minds that you have that add up throughout your life lifetime that, that create your personality. So in other words, don't let yourself away with falling into that scarcity mindset. And if you do, if you do start thinking and dwelling on lack of this and lack of that and can't do this and can't do that and frustrated with this and frustrated with that, catch yourself and immediately counteract it with small actionable steps that you can actually do and focus on all the things that you're grateful for at the moment and all the things that you could do in the future. You're only one step away from meeting somebody that could give you a little piece of information that would help you unlock the door that you haven't been able to get through or you you might find a little piece of the jigsaw that you're missing and suddenly bang that's it and uh, you know it's these things these things suddenly open up if you are in a mental state of mind that you're prepared to see them and you're prepared to allow them into your life so have more of an abundance mindset hopefully that's given you a little bit of motivation or if nothing else has given you something to think about Thank you for listening. I'm Roundhouse Rob, the Success Sensei. Life is a fight you can enjoy and win. Bowing out. This has been the Success Sensei, fighting the winning fight. So add us, subscribe, like, and comment. Keep those hands up and keep moving forward.